visited the library on our house hunting trip and obviously the building is very impressive um, and what we saw was um, resources that were being used um, intelligently. Um, we saw um, a passion for the library and we saw that um, uh, the public really enjoyed being here. About two and a half months ago I broke my ankle quite severely and I was off my feet for six weeks, totally off my feet, almost in bed. And I needed something to read. And I thought, well, I'll call the library and see if they can just pick out a book for me and my husband can come and get it. <laughs> so within 24 hours, a lovely woman called me and said that they have an outreach program at the library um, and that they will pick out books for me and drop them off at my home and pick them back up again and bring me more and I was thrilled and so I, I signed up for this program or I said yes and they, they came in and brought me books and saved my sanity really because I was housebound for a long time so this was a wonderful program for the library and they were really super to provide that to me and I appreciate it. What is your favorite thing to do at the library? To bring my family <laughs> I like how they have a bunch of activities and that anyone can do any of them. I really like volunteering here and I like historic events. As a diverse family of all different age groups, I appreciate the flexibility that it gives us to find an activity to do together or to do separately. Uh, being a stay-at-home dad, I love the fact that they have daily activities ranging from newly born uh, all the way through preschool, um, junior high, and even uh, activities for high schoolers. There have been so many awesome, tremendous changes to this library, and that I just feel like it it's just such a marvelous public space to really, it's welcoming. Um, folks can find all kinds of ways to connect to the services that are available and actually um, you know in our culture as we have fewer and fewer opportunities to share public space the library is really one of the last few things I think the public schools the library maybe the public parks but so frequently we we don't get together as, as people in these public spaces and I think beyond that just the amazing number of things that are available at the Glen Allen Public Library I mean everything from you know the the continuing collection of, of all sorts of digital materials um, I love the 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 pullouts of the of the new materials it's always great to browse those to see what new books are out there um, but also just the the addition of the study rooms and it's just, I think, really evolved with what people want um, in this kind of space. And so overall, I just find it fitting a lot of needs. And um, I have used it um, to get a hold of things I've wanted to read or I've, I've, I've wanted to check out. I've checked out a lot of a number of different materials. But we're here in the Media Lab, which I didn't even know was here. And this is pretty amazing to have this as an opportunity or service, rather, um, for the patrons as well. What I like most about our library is a lot. Um, the youth program in general is extraordinary and it offers so many programs from um, birth through preschool through grade school. Um, daily it seems like there's at least one or two activities that you can bring um, one or two or multiple kids to and it's a great time to like um, get acquainted with the library with music, books, dancing, playing, um, and also <clears throat> being someone that doesn't have a lot of time, some of the um, programs I think that they're really gearing towards um, busy families, like they have bundled book packages you can just pick up and go. The online um, hold program is great because I can go on and uh, pick a couple books and they'll be w waiting and ready for me, so when you're walking around with babies and toddlers, you don't want to be uh, taking them upstairs trying to search for books when it's uh, getting close to nap time. So I just feel like they, they think about a lot of different ways to help out all of us patrons. One of the best things about the library hands down is our librarians. We've developed a lot of personal relationships with our librarians who know us, who welcome us, who watch out for us, who greet us, who are always on the lookout for ways to add learning to our family in a number of different methods. We love you, Mr. Tom. 
and Miss Katie. <laughs> Typically, I'm a book person, mm -hmm. and so I do check out novels, biographies. Um, I love to read, so um, pretty much that. I Pretty much that's what I've been limited to is, is, and I've used the service, you know, putting books on hold and, and getting them when they're available and, you know, that all works really well mm -hmm. and, and everyone I've talked to here has been so, so wonderful. As a new resident of Illinois, um, we have used um, the Explore More Passes to get to know our surroundings. Um, and those have been great. Um, we have used the quarterly guide, which is a fantastic resource, and um, I uh, will go through it and pick out the programs that we want to attend. Um, that's been wonderful. I've used the Swan uh, Library app to check out books that I'm interested in, and the interlibrary loan has been seamless. Um, I usually get the stuff that I order um, within one to two days. And um, it's been wonderful. Well, I love the hot picks, or what, I can't remember the official title, but the ones that are like you can only have for a couple weeks because I, I feel like you can kind of get an idea of what people are really reading. So I use that. I like browsing the magazines. I mean, they're, I mean I'm mean, i old school. I love paper magazines. And again, you know, you can't find those anywhere. There's no great bookstores left. I mean, there's out here in the western suburbs is what? Barnes and Noble at Oak Brook, and that's just a big corporate, you know, box. And there's no, I mean, I guess you go to Anderson, but that's a long drive, but the, there's not like a great newsstand. And so you can go in and kind of browse around the magazines and just see what writers are saying in different publications. So I like to walk through that section. We are very um, happy that we have this resource available. And there's so many things that we have not um, discovered that the library has to offer. So we're really, really looking forward to it. I love the library.